to have you here on today's episode on Real Gist with Moonbeam. On today's gist, I'll be talking on steps you must take to heal from emotional trauma. Emotional traumas can be triggered by events in any aspect of life, from losing a family member or a friend, a broken relationship or divorce, the loss of a much needed job, or financial ruin can all lead to emotional havoc or trauma, specific loss, or life crushing events can place a barrier in your ability to ever want to exit your comfort zone. It can cause you detachment from yourself and those around you. This thing called emotional trauma breeds a lot of anxiety, insecurities, and fears that never existed previously. It can cripple a person. It can affect your motivation your self-esteem, and your ability to ever want to form meaningful co uh, connections with others. In addition, emotional trauma can lead you to neglect yourself. You may feel as if you're irreversibly damaged and can never heal. The acts and sufferings feel as if they last forever. In fact, the addictions of so many people are triggered by some kind of trauma. However, substance abuse can only create additional problems, such as worsening your physical health, mental health, and emotional health, depending on, you know, needs. Short-term or long-term rehab is recommended in this case. Frankly speaking, Getting out of this swamp of misery is easier said than done. Because after going through emotional stress, the person, maybe you lost, or the situation gets stuck in your head. You may wonder whether there was something you could have done differently to reverse the eruption of the chaos you're currently in the midst of. While beating up yourself over something you may or may not have control over, the first step to take is to give yourself the opportunity to heal. Something in your head may be telling you that there is something inherently wrong with you. At that point, it's important to remember there is no such thing. It is just as a result of uh, emotional uh, trauma response. Only when you accept certain persons, places, situations, or things can you be on your path to recovery. At this point, it is paramount to do the opposite. Know that at this point, you might just want to keep to yourself. Isolate yourself. Stay in a quiet place. You know, you won't want to mix yourself with others. Just do the opposite. Fix yourself in the midst of those people who are chatting and laughing. You know, distract yourself. Surround yourself with family and friends for guidance and support. Also, do not neglect the help of a professional. A therapist can work wonders in your recovery process. It can empower your confidence. It can release dopamine and serotonin, neurotransmitters that help combat stress and improves or and improve your mood. Taking these steps will help you heal speedily from emotional trauma. Thank you for watching, but do not forget to click the like button, subscribe, and share. Bye.